Hello everyone. So today we are going to conduct the experiment number six, study of directional coupler and extraction of S parameters. So in this experiment, we are going to measure the main line and auxiliary line VSWR, and we are going to find the transmission loss, directivity, and coupling of a directional coupler, and we are going to pa find the pa S parameters of directional coupler. Okay. So this is the apparatus. Okay. So we know the functions of all these uh, apparatus. So except this directional coupler. So here, so this this is a directional coupler. So we have studied in the theoretical, so that uh, the, it consists of uh, two uh, two waveguides. One is primary waveguide and another one is the secondary waveguide. So this primary waveguide is also called as main line, okay. And this uh, secondary waveguide is also called as auxiliary line, okay. So if you give power at port one, okay, so that if you give input at port one, so it will be splitted among uh, port two and port three. But this port four is uh, matched. Okay, so there will be no power. Uh, no power will be received from the port four. Okay, it is matched. Okay, so if the port one is input. Okay, so then your output ports will be port two and port three. Okay. So this is the directional coupler. So this is the port one. This is the port two, and this is the port three. And port four is the matched port. Okay. So here we are going to give the input at port one. And we measure the outputs at port two and port three. Okay, so let's start the conduction of this experiment. So before connecting the directional coupler, so first connect the detector mount and measure the voltage V one. Okay, so now I have connected the detector mount. Okay, so and uh, generate the mode. Okay, so and uh, get the maximum output and note down the output voltage V one. Okay, so here the output voltage V one is. So you can observe the peak to peak voltage is 1.52 volt. Okay, so that is the voltage V1. Okay, so note down that voltage of V1. So now uh, replace this detector mount with the directional coupler and connect as shown in this figure. Okay. So now I have connected the directional coupler. So you can see here. So the port one is the input port uh, which is connected to the A wave guide, okay, and this port two and port three are connected to the match termination, okay. So now I need to find the V max and V minimum of this uh, port one as input and port two and port three are match termination, okay. So now find the V max and V minimum by varying this uh, slotted line carriage. So this slotted line carriage should be at the right extreme point, okay. So from the right extreme point, move towards the left. And find the V max and V minimum. Okay, so observe the waveform and find V max and V minimum. So I am moving this slotted line carriage. So now you can observe the voltage is decreasing. Okay, at some point it decreased and now it is getting increased. So take that uh, minimum voltage point. So that is your V minimum. Okay, so the minimum was uh, so five twelve voltage. So that is your uh, V minimum one. Okay, so V minimum one is five twelve voltage. So now continue this movement to obtain the maximum voltage. Okay, so the maximum voltage was six seventy two millivolt. So that's how we are V maximum. So after finding the uh, V max and V minimum by connecting the port one as input and port two. Uh, port two and port three are match termination. So now replace that uh, match termination of port two and connect it by the detector mount and we measure the voltage V two. Okay. So now I will connect uh, detector mount to the port two by replacing it by uh, detector mount and removing the match termination. Okay. So now I have connected the detector mount to the port two and you can observe match termination is connected to the port three. So now connect the CRO probe to this detector mount and measure the voltage V2. So now CRO probe is connected to the detector mount and measure the voltage V2 by looking at the CRO. Okay, so what is the peak to peak voltage? It is 2.96 volt. That is your voltage V2. So now I need to uh, connect this port three as the input and we need to connect match termination to port one and port two. Okay. So let's do this connection. 
So now I have connected the port three as an input and port one and port two are match termination. So now I need to measure the V max and V minimum of this uh, port three. Okay. So now, so I will move this uh, slotted line carriage uh, to find the V max and V minimum. So now the amplitude getting decreased. Okay. So it is uh, decreased up to. Uh, okay. So four ninety six was the minimum voltage. So four ninety six. millivolt okay so is a v minimum 2 and then continue this uh, slotted line carriage and move up to you get the maximum voltage 584 592 596 okay so now it is getting decreased okay so the maximum voltage was 600 millivolt 624 millivolt so 624 millivolt is a v max 2 okay so now i need to find uh, v3 and v4 so by connecting the uh, port 1 as a input port 2 the match termination and for port 3 we need to connect the radiator mount and measure the v3 similarly so connect port 2 to the input and port 1 to the match termination and connect radiator mount to the port 3 and measure the voltage v4 okay so then after calculating all this so, so we need to Uh, apply. Uh, we need to do all these calculations to find the S parameters. Okay. So now I will take uh, readings of this V3 and V4. So now I have connected port two as an input, and uh, for port three I have connected a detector mount, and I will measure the voltage V4. So so you can observe. So port two is input, port uh, one is matched, and port three is connected to the detector mount, and I will measure the voltage V4. Okay, so what is the voltage uh, peak to peak voltage? We have nine point six zero or nine point four four millivolt. So now I have connected the port two to the input and uh, port three to the detector mount, and I will measure the voltage uh, V four. So here the voltage V four is twenty twenty eight point four millivolt. So these are the calculations. So we have measured the V one, V two, V three, V four, and we have. I uh, have calculated the V minimum one, V minimum one, V minimum, V maximum one, V minimum two, and V maximum two, V three and V four, and we have calculated the VSWRs in uh, both conditions uh, for my main line and the auxiliary line, and we have substituted those VSWR values in this reflection coefficient formulas, and we have calculated so the uh, reflection coefficient one and the reflection coefficient two. Okay, and I uh, have substituted uh, the uh, voltage values V1, V2 in this uh, uh, T, C, and D calculations. Uh, so T is given by this, and C is this, and D is this, and we have calculated the S parameters, and so I have substituted them in the S matrix. Okay, so this is the S matrix of a directional coupler. Okay, thank you.